Hello 44 students, this is DJ again and I am showing you in this video how to crack a transposition cipher, um, a columnar transposition to be precise. So I have before me a cipher text that I've created which is not your homework. Uh, so we're just going to copy that and we're going to paste it into the cut and paste character count on the virtual black chamber. I've already done it but I'll do it again just so you can see me do it. And then calculate the character. So 216 and if you remember with columnar transposition what we're going to do is make a grid and the number of columns in the grid is based on the number of characters in the keyword. Now it's not necessary that the total number of characters in the text be a factor um, or that the keyword and the number of characters in the keyword be a factor of the total number of characters in the text but I promised you in class that I would do that to make it a little bit easier to crack and so I've done the same thing with this ciphertext with 216 characters, what we need to find out are what are the factors of 216. So we'll paste that in there, and I've got a website which I'll put in the description which finds all the factors of a number. So you can see up here, don't worry about the negative, but up here you see the factors of 216. Now using a little bit of logic about the size of keywords that I've given you so far, um, probably the ones right in this range look to be uh, the most probable suspects for length of the keyword. So what we're going to do is use the splitter tool that you were given uh, that is available on the Core 193 website at cs.colgate.edu. Um, we are going to take our ciphertext and paste it in here. Oops, that's not the ciphertext. There we go. We're going to take our ciphertext and paste it in here and then we're going to split it into columns. Now Remember, when you make the grid with columnar transposition, after you switch the columns around, you read down each column. So we need to think if the keyword is, you know, let's make a guess here, let's go back to our factors, um, 6, we need to think of what the other factor would be that would create uh, a grid that had 180 cells in it. But let's just skip up to 8 because that seems more typical of what I've done so far. And it happens to be the right answer, which I know. And make this video a little shorter by doing that. So if 8 um, is the length of the keyword, uh, what do we get there? Well, 216 divided by 8 gives us 27, which we see is also a factor, which is good. So what we're going to do, you do is use the splitter tool here, and remember that we write them down by column. So you want to take the other factor, not the length of the keyword, but the other one, and split it into columns based on that. You're going to copy this whole thing, open up Excel, click on there and do Paste Special, Text, OK. Click on the little clipboard, use the Text Import Wizard, and then click Finish. And what it's going to do is you know, adds this extra column in there because of the space. But what it does is give you all of the columns as they've been split. So if you take that, highlight the whole thing, copy, and then go all the way back here, do Paste Special, click Transpose, and OK. This gives you um, all the eight columns that you'll need, and you can switch these columns around to try to make something that makes sense. Um, so we know that I usually use Harry Potter text, so if you do cut and insert cut cells, I'm seeing that maybe I could make Dudley out of this. So if I cut that and paste it in, oops, I want to make sure to insert cut cells, that way I don't lose things. D U cut, insert cut. Cells, cut, insert cut cells. Well, you can see where I'm going with this. So, um, if you can read ahead, you'll see it's going to end up making Dudley's birthday. And I'll show you what the final text looks like in just a second. Okay, and now I've successfully rearranged the columns. So you can see it says Dudley's birthday how could he have forgotten which is an excerpt from 